Hello friends, welcome to Tech with us. Friends, imagine a doctor sitting in his office, reviewing reports and completing his paperwork. Suddenly, his phone rings. An emergency case has just arrived. Without finishing the paperwork, he instantly leaves his desk and rushes to the emergency room. After treating the patient, he comes back find the paperwork where it was left and continue working the emergency call or sudden switching of task that's exactly how interrupt works inside an embedded system in this video we will deep dive what exactly an interrupt is why it is critical for real time responsiveness how microcontroller handles them internally so stick around you will discover hidden gems that can make your design faster and smarter so let's begin an interrupt is an event that temporarily halts the normal execution of a program to handle something very urgent in embedded system timings are very important for real time response you can't predict exactly when a user presses a button or when a sensor detects a change or when new data arrives from communication if you try to check for these events again and again using polling the cpu gets stuck wasting lots of time and power hence interrupts are smarter they allow the microcontroller to keep doing the regular work and only pause when absolutely necessary to handle an event and once the urgent task is done the system picks up exactly where it is left off when an interrupt occurs such as a button press the microcontroller follows a defined sequence it suspend the current program execution temporarily saves the necessary context onto the stack jump to a predefined memory address and execute interrupt service routine or isr after the isr execution is complete the processor restore the save context from the stack and resumes the program execution exactly at the point where it was interrupted here with respect to interrupt we should also understand few terminologies like interrupt latency interrupt latency is the time delay between the occurrence of an interrupt request or irq and the start of interrupt service routine execution by the cpu it is usually measured in microseconds and achieving lower latency is critical for real time embedded system when an interrupt occurs the cpu must know which function or isr it should execute but the cpu doesn't guess or search randomly it follows a very systematic process each microcontroller has a special memory region called the interrupt vector table here is a simple example each interrupt source like timer or uart is assigned a specific slot number in the vector table the slot points to the isr address where the cpu should jump when the interrupt occurs now let's make things a bit smarter by understanding interrupt priority and nested interrupts when multiple interrupts occurs the cpu doesn't handle them randomly it uses something called interrupt priority where each interrupt is assigned a rank higher priority interrupts gets the cpu attention first but there is more even if an interrupt is already being served a higher priority one can jump in this is called nested interrupt for example suppose your system is handling a timer interrupt but suddenly a critical uart message arrives because uart has higher priority in this case the mcu temporarily processes the timer isr handles uart and then goes back to timer task this smart juggling 
is what makes embedded system highly responsive. Let's have a quick recap now. Today we learned what interrupts are and how microcontroller handles them. We also try to understand interrupt latency, vector table, priority and nested interrupt. In embedded system, reacting fast to event is critical. That's why interrupt matters a lot. And in interviews, a deep understanding of interview often sets you apart. If this information helped you, like and subscribe to the channel techwithus.learn. More in-depth embedded topics are coming soon. Thanks for watching.